Hello everyone, this is Ariane Arsenault from La Fée de la Mer. Welcome to my workshop and today you are joining me to make a dandelion plantain and uh, cucumber hydrosol co-processed soap. So this soap is very locally inspired. I'm using a lot of botanicals that are originally uh, wild harvested from the islands as well as organic cucumbers from an organic uh, veggie farm around here that I've distilled and turned into a hydrosol with my beautiful copper alembic. My essential oil blend consists of a combination of Litsea cubeba, lemongrass, and citronella java. It will be very fresh, very like refreshing to the skin, uplifting. Um, all of the ingredients are super gentle for the skin, so if you have sensitive skin, you may want to give this one a try. And in my stock pot, I'm actually making two batches. I have kufuasu butter, I have shea butter, palm oil from Palm Done Right, which is organic, sustainably produced, and also I have some virgin coconut oil from Baraka Shea Butter. And the shea butter is from them. The kupuasu is from Paris Fragrances USA. of 1.3 in my pitcher uh, so this means I can still squeeze some out but it's getting you know difficult so there's always a little bit of loss and look at that beautiful yellow color the dandelion gave to this olive oil beautiful Let's go ahead and grind down the plantain into a very fine powder. I am now going to make my blend of olive oil with the dandelion infusion, the plantain infusion, and the rest will be extra virgin olive oil. Now it's time to add the essential oil blend. to add the hydrosol and I did a very steep water discount on my my water to be able to do this. The 
cucumber hydrosol smells just like fresh cucumbers. It is so nice and it is very, very gentle to the skin as well. So, ah, yummy. <laughs> Now that the cucumber hydrosol is emulsified, I'm gonna go ahead, I add my lime water, split my batter, add the plantain. I may be working fast, I'm not gonna be able to speak. <laughs> so enjoy the process. So that I have a nice distinct color between the plantain and the rest of the soap batter, I am adding some Canadian glacial clay to my mixture. Not so much. Actually, I'm adding the same amount as the plantain. Time to swirl. And let's give some texture to this soap. It is time to unmold my soaps. I will first run them under hot water because I do have a little bit of soda ash on top. And by the way, these were poured in my Winston and Walter blue silicone liners. And I will leave the link below this video.
Hmm. My soap is still wet and I don't want to... Oh, that's okay. Perfect. All right, let's turn it upside down. Woohoo! Perfect. <laughs> there we go. Wet soap is slippery. This happens when I have to rinse my soaps. Voila. And soap is splitter. I am all out of my soap drying trays from soap equipment. Um, so today I'm just using some food trays to uh, dry my soaps. I do have some more soap drying trays on the way. I just placed an order for a new tower because <laughs> we are making lots of soaps right now and I need more room to dry them. All right. Et voila, the dandelion, plantain, and cucumber hydrosol soap is ready. I have not yet found a name for it. I do have a couple weeks ahead of me to figure that out because it will be uh, curing in the drying area in the soap shop for the next four to six weeks. So if you would like to give me suggestions, you can pop them in the comment section down below. That would be great. And um, I hope you've learned something new. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Remember to check the description box if you're a maker, as I have a whole bunch of resources, links of helpful information for you. And if you would like to support my channel by purchasing my soap, well, I have an online store and that is also in the description box below. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. And until the next video, take care and stay safe.